Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. I'm Coldfire. And I'm Kit. And today we are continuing the Virgin Tour by Madonna from 1985. And we don't know which song it is. Nope. But that's why we got our headphones and you guys watching. So let's get into this and... Remember, so subscribe, notify, secret stuff down the road. Um, so if you have any... If you want to see it, you got to There's a whole and lot of Madonna out there that we're going to cover and we're going we're going to leave no stone unturned, including interviews, concerts and singles and live performances. Yep. Okay, let's get into it. Dreams come true. What's this? Gambler. Is that what this is? Yeah. That fans on her. I like that she actually um, changed her outfit and you didn't even notice it. Yes, I did because I, I was going to, I didn't no, want no, to no, stop I'm because you said I talked too no, much. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Uh, I'm meaning watching the video. Yeah, when you don't notice that, that she changed her outfit. Because they were doing that it's done. crowd scene yeah. and everything else, and that's probably what I meant. because this was released on VHS, yeah. it probably took a little bit longer, mm -hmm. but they shortened it. But no, I was going to say. I would love to have a shirt with a little cross cut out like that in the middle. <laughs> but I was also going to ask you, if this was the tour you seen, her hair looks purple or pink. Is that the lighting? Or do um, you think that she added something to that? Because I know they all put on glasses too. If they did that, it's got to be a wig because there's no way she could have done that during the concert. No, it looks like the same length. It looks I like think, she may have added some layers. It may, it may be the I spotlight. Think the, I think it's the lighting. I yeah. think the lighting hit it. Because I she, know that she's got the fans on her as well. So I think I think it's the lighting that's making it look pink, purple, whatever. Because, you know, they were doing that in the 80s. Yep. So. You know.
that was Gambler. Gambler. That wasn't that featured on the Desperately Seeking Susan. No, no, the, that, that was another movie you made me watch. Um, the one that had Crazy for You in it. Where she was going after the high school. No. Vision Quest. That's it. Yeah. Didn't she sing that? She I think sang, it was she, a small part that was in that. She sang, she sang it live during Vision Quest. Yes. But. And I love this she wasn't song. Part of the, she wasn't part of the, of the movie, was she? No, she just was. She, she was section. a. She was a bar singer. She just did that one little, well, one or two scenes where she was singing. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, crazy if you took up the whole movie, they played it. No, I know that. Small sections. I know, but I'm just, I'm just saying she, she did Gambler, and then she did another. Uh, she's, it was she's, Gambler and Crazy for You that were on that movie. Yeah, but she wasn't. But this one was only played once. Correct. But what I don't understand is this is such a great song. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think it's. One of her most un underrated songs. It is. Spe up until right now. Well, she's got a couple of songs that she used to do back during the day. And Shell, she's got songs now that she's doing that are underrated and, and doesn't they don't get. But to, they won't play on the radio if you're 50 and above because they, they think you're um, ancient. But even even if she was within the age bracket to play it on the radio, there's a lot of songs that she has out there that are phenomenal and they just don't they wouldn't even even if she was the age they still wouldn't get the credit they deserve just because that's whoever makes decisions on what to play on the radio is there I don't they're, know they're she idiots. done popular with the weekend and it went to top 10 and she did vulgar with Sam Smith and it went up there No, I know but that I'm just saying there's a lot of stuff that she has done in past albums yes that just don't they don't get the recognition and it's not it's nothing to do with the rage is in my opinion people that decide to play things on the radio don't have a lick of sense if it doesn't all sound the same they won't play it yes so i agree with that but, but anyways, that was that was gambler. gambler that was part five I think. and uh so. We're going to let her take a little bit of break, and we're going to get back into it, and uh, subscribe, and that way, and hit also bell. hit the bell down below so you notify whenever we release the next song coming up after this one. Without further ado, we do wish you love, happiness, and peace worldwide, and remember, love everyone.